going to be a small pond with waterfall. Our reservoir is going to start right in this area here. We've got a bridge that's going to come over leading to the fire pit that comes from the house. And then a great kind of babbly brook waterfall as it moves down through the stream here. All right, so we got all of our sod out. The guys are digging the hole for the basin. I think we'll have our aqua box in in the snap of a finger. Boom. Have you noticed how dark it got? Um. <laughs> got, got pretty dark out here, man. That's usually not a good sign, and, and when it's dark before 6 o'clock like this, usually it indicates some kind of storm is rolling in. The other sign is when you actually start feeling raindrops, <laughs> and that's where we're at right now. We're out here in West Chicago starting a one day project. It's a little chilly. I've got uh, even some long underwear underneath all this stuff. It's gonna be a neat little stream. Uh, I think what's unique about this one is she's been saving rock for years and most of the rock is coming from her property. So we're gonna be plucking out some of these guys in here. Said we could use this big one if we wanted it. Um, I kind of like it there. There's some more over in there. Come follow me. We've got this pile in here. And I actually really like the character of this field stone. There's a lot more angles and stuff on it. The guys are just bringing some big ones because a pile of rock like this, as nice as it is to have, just doesn't give us some of the sizes we need to frame out our waterfall. Speaking of waterfall, let me go show you what we're talking about. Let's leave that one. <laughs> it's like they dug it out like a fossil. So I think what's also nice about this project, as you can tell, Vicky is gonna um, baby this thing quite a bit. And the reason I know that, and the reason I'm excited about her babying it is I know it's gonna be one of those projects that over time just gets better and better. I know she's that kind of customer because I gave her some small homework assignments and she went ahead and dug out that entire fire pit area by herself. Um, no machines or anything. So if she can do it, you guys can do it too. This is definitely a replicatable project. It's going to be a small pond with waterfall. Our reservoir is going to start right in this area here. We've got a bridge that's going to come over leading to the fire pit that comes from the house. And then a great kind of babbly brook waterfall as it moves down through the stream here. Well, I think we're out of here by 3 4 o'clock. So we'll get at it. We'll start uh, digging in these aqua blocks. So Started kind of excavating out the stream and uh, we should start rocking this thing in I think well before lunchtime. Alright, so we got all of our sod out. The guys are digging the hole for the basin. I think we'll have our aqua box in and the snap of a finger. Boom! Just like that, the aqua blocks are in. Did that take like five minutes? No, it's like a snap. Of the snap of the fingers, right? It's movie magic. So it's been about 20 minutes since we got the basin in and these guys are doing an awesome job kicking butt and taking names. how dark it got um <laughs> got, got pretty dark out here man that's usually not a good sign and, and when it's dark before six o'clock like this usually it indicates some kind of storm is rolling in the other sign is when you actually start feeling raindrops <laughs> and that's where we're at right now and it's nothing worse than being at the like the last couple minutes of a project knowing you're gonna get soaked i would say you put that camera down <laughs> <laughs> So it's raining. I'm not sure if we're going to finish. I think it's going to look awesome when it stops raining, but the rain's killing us right now. And it's just kind of par for the rest of the season.
<laughs> right? So as you can see, it's a much sunnier day than the last time I was out here. I see a fence behind me has been added since the last time we were out here, but it was nearly impossible for us to film that project. Um, the way we really wanted to and it was really weird the way we filmed it and everything else a lot of just start stop and then all of a sudden it's done <laughs> so i apologize and here's what i do know we will never ever ever film a project like that again but i did not want to not come out here and show you the end result because um it was so cool it was fun to build we did it in a day and uh, we had a whole lot of fun doing it even though it was raining nonetheless we did finish it in one day and here's what we've got so here's our bottom waterfall really awesome i love that natural little chop out in the rock right there these are some of our favorite waterfalls these v style waterfalls you take two rocks push them together create a v and you force all of that water right in between that area. It gives an awesome sound. Listen. And it looks super natural. Love the way that turned out. Love the little stepping stones coming across this stream. And now let's see if we can get up past that sunspot so you can see the next waterfall over here. Again, a great sound. I think my favorite part of this whole stream is not how it twists and turns, not how fast we got it done, but really the sound of it. I love that babbly brook sound. And so often, the more we choke down a waterfall, the thicker that water is gonna get on top. The thicker the water gets, the more of that bass type sound you get. Thick water dumping into a pool, you get really that bass kind of undertone sound, babbly brook sound. If it's really thin water and comes across and hits another rock on the way down, it completely changes the way it sounds. Let's move up to that next waterfall and really listen to the sound of that falls. I hope you guys can hear that. Really cool that the water is actually coming out of our spillway up there. So with a little bit of driftwood up there, some proper rock placements, we've completely hidden that spillway. The spillway is actually sitting right behind that rock back in there giving this nice babbly brook waterfall sound. So there's the spillway. One little more stick right in there, we can hide that thing. I know I'm gonna have to do it before I leave here. Comes out into a slightly little pool, rolls over that rock, rolls over that rock. With these round rocks, we definitely get more of that babbly brook sound because the water wants to hug to the surface of the rock. You can see here with that round shape, how it really just hugs the surface. And then when I take one big rock here, one big rock there, we technically have another little V waterfall right in there. And then of course the lights to light everything up. So I know what I'm gonna love about this project the most is uh, the future of this project. You can see the starting point of a pathway kind of coming around here. All of this will end up getting landscaped. I would assume they're gonna put in a lot of low growing stuff in here, probably some Pakistandra, Juga, something like that without obstructing the view from inside the house. Over on this side, we can get some more height, maybe some hydrangeas, some larger varieties of hostas. I can see a witch hazel or something back up in there. And then that pathway always leading to something, a bridge that takes you to a destination spot. And once that fire pit gets finished off, it's gonna really have an awesome feeling back here. The privacy of that fence that she added just takes this space to your own little oasis. Even sitting here when we get on this side, the way we twisted this waterfall to make this waterfall only visible from the patio as really an additional surprise, I think is really important. We don't want everything always facing towards one viewing area. Make stuff visible from different areas, creating a little bit of that mystery that we talk about a lot. In a lot of ways, the views from the fire pit are probably just as good, if not a little better, than the views from inside the house. The camera never does the justice, but trust me in the fact that it's pretty cool. So there's the view that I see from here. And look at how the bridge just draws you out into that space and then once you get there you'll discover that waterfall that we saw hey guys i know that video went a little quick we went right from 
the beginning and the introduction in the morning, a little bit of process there in between to yeah, it's raining and we gotta get the heck out of here. It rained on us all day long and it was really hard to keep filming stuff and stay motivated getting out here. I know how much you appreciate uh, seeing the step-by-step -step action of what we're doing, the explanation of why we do this and why we do that. And we want to keep producing fantastic videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had fun building it and I can't wait to see this project transform. I think one of my favorite vlogs next year is going to be taking you back to a lot of these projects that we've been filming and show you how they've grown over a year, two years, three years. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed. Tell me your favorite part. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the routine. Let's do it again soon. Bye.